Last month, lovers of alcohol everywhere triumphantly raised their glasses as the U.S. Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau approved labels for a powdered alcohol product. With the approval, the product and its company, both named Palcohol, got a burst of media attention as people pondered the possibility of carting and drink powder to venues, sprinkling it on food, and even snorting it. But just as quickly, approval of the label was retracted by the Bureau, leaving a wave of online commentators to wonder how it's possible to powder alcohol. This inspired CNN to visit food chemist Matt Hardings at American University in Washington, D.C. to see exactly how easy it is to make powdered alcohol. His recipe for powdered alcohol is Everclear plus N-Zorbit M, a kitchen-ready maltodextrin made from tapioca starch. N-Zorbit may be patent protected, but Hardings has some ideas about its composition. What, it, what we think it's similar to is cyclodextrin. A cyclodextrin is a ring of sugars and the inside of that ring is hydrophobic and the outside of that ring is hydrophilic. And so you can trap hydrophobic things on the inside. The point of, of all of this stuff is that they try to get the more hydrophobic things like ethanol inside of, uh, inside of these molecules. So today we're going to try out some of these recipes to see if we can get them to work. As we discovered, the recipe is pretty straightforward. Matt started by gradually mixing together 100 grams of N-Zorbit and 90 grams of Everclear, an almost one-to-one -one ratio. He then sifted the mixture, removing its clumps, before adding the alcoholic powder and some Capri Sun to a cocktail shaker. And then, like thirsty vultures, we swooped in to enjoy the fruits of Matt's labor. Right. Salute. Salute. Oh, cheers. Cheers. It's not like overpowering. No, not overpowering. It's all right. Better than tasting it raw. Yeah. Yeah. You can taste the alcohol. Not as bad as I thought, though. Sounds like you've got yourself an endorsement, Palcohol. For CNN, I'm Sophia Kai.